Well, good morning, guys. It's Friday, September 30th. Tomorrow's the opening day of the Nevada mule deer hunt. I'll see you guys at the trailhead. Loaded up, ready to go. Well, there she is. We're getting closer. Still got about another 20 miles to the trailhead. Nevada mule deer. 2022, here I come. Hey guys, made it to the trailhead. Looks like uh, an outfitter with a bunch of hunters are heading in right now in front of me. And uh, we're going up over that stuff right there. That's gonna be home back in there four miles for the next nine ten days these guys right here they're probably gonna end up going six seven miles i won't even see them guys probably but here we are at the trailhead let's get going Well, it's about, that's about a mile and a half I just took. We're heading right there to that saddle. A couple miles after that is where camp is, but slowly but surely, we're getting her done. Beautiful country up here, though. Awesome country. Hey, everybody. Kenny here. This is one big mountain. That's the first lake of three that I'm gonna be going by. I still gotta go over the top of that thing over there. I don't know. Nevada, big muleys, big country. Man, I hope there's some bucks up in this country. Some big old bucks. Well, let's go to camp. See you at camp. Here we go. I'm going back in this country. Nevada mule deer, here I come. My camp's down in there somewhere. Man, this is one brutal mountain. Whew. But, if you want to kill giant bucks, you gotta come in some giant country, I guess. Or get lucky road hunting, I don't know. All right, let's go set up camp. Hey guys, man, that was four hours and 30 minute hike into this basin. But I made it to camp. I'm gonna be hunting that stuff down below camp here. Let's check out camp. Look at this bag I packed in here, jeez. Look at the size of that thing. Man, I've done some stupid things before, but Coming back here in these mountains. Are... But we're here. Let's get something to eat. Good night's rest. And glasses. These pines right here and this, this face down here tonight. All right, let's get camp set up. All right. There she is. We got camp set up. Nevada Mule Deer 2022. I just went over to the creek and pumped a bunch of water. I filtered a bunch of water. I can give me some cooking here in a minute. I'm exhausted. But for right now, I got set up over here with my spot and scope. I'm gonna sit over here tonight and blast this hillside over here. A nice little rock to sit on right here. The sun's going down. It's gonna be chilly. It was only like 46 when I got down here, so tonight's gonna be really chilly. There'll be a glass across there. There's a spring up there. On the other side of that rock slide right there. And then 
down in there is where I'm going to be glassing down in that country right there. I'm going to glass there tonight. Then I'm going to get up first thing in the morning. I'm going to sit right here before I go stomping around out in the brush down into this country I've never been in. I'm going to sit right here tonight and first thing in the morning just glass it out. So we'll see what happens. Well, we got a couple of small bucks spotted so far this evening. It's definitely going to be cold up in this country, though. This looked like a little two-point, little three-point, or two-by-two two or something. Right up there by that spring. There's his buddy up above him. I think she's pretty big though, Donnie, look at him. He's taking care of that big tree. Man, he's really working that tree over here. He hates that tree. Wish we could see your antlers, buddy. Well, that's a wrap. Seen those couple bucks up there by the spring. I seen a couple doe and some fawns come right down that also right there on that side hill. And then I had a couple doe come right into camp. Wanted to check everything out, but uh, it's getting hard to see in the... So I'm gonna uh, go get me something to eat and go to bed. My back is killing me. See you in the morning. Morning, guys. Today's opening morning. Nevada 2022 mule deer hunt. Whew, it was cold last night. Got black glass and back up here on this hillside this morning and seen two or three small bucks, some doe and stuff. Uh, not, not nothing too promising yet this morning, but it's real early. I'm gonna move down the ridge here. I'm gonna move down the ridge and see what I can't see, so I'll see what goes on. Okay, update, opening morning. You can tell it's a nice morning, super, super cold. I seen two four points right underneath that rock slide up there. I seen the same couple bucks I seen last night over there. And then I walked down the canyon a little ways and seen a really nice three point. 20 inch, 24 inch, maybe this this four point up here might be 24. We'll see tonight when they come out, but now I'm just gonna rest up and get something to eat. I gotta get all the stuff off of camp here. It was cold, cold last night, so everything's kinda needs to air out and dry up a little bit, but let's get something to eat and get after it. 
Day one, morning, October 1st. Out. Well, had a pretty good morning this morning, seeing all those bucks. It's promising. It's still the first day. Still got another hour or so before the sun goes down, but it looks like there's some stuff moving around. Dogs and fawns are up on their feet, so it won't be long. See what else we can pick up tonight. But so far, what a great first day to the Nevada 2022 mule deer hunt. Holy smokes, guys. I just spotted these two good bucks. But right below, a bunch of guys on horses. Looked like a guide and some hunters came below me this afternoon, and I see some hunters. Sneaking up the draw towards these bucks right here, and they're too far for me to shoot. So we might see something get dropped out here. It's not gonna be me. There's another pretty good sized buck down below him. Deer below them. I think they, they they know what's up. The one below them is moving up towards those bigger bucks. But if that hunter can get through the quakey, small quakies, he might have a shot. Damn it. something's up. Stay tuned. I can see that guide and the hunter. Man, they, they're probably four or five hundred yards away, but they've got their gun out. And that one on the top, I mean, they're, that, the two bottom ones, that all up, they're getting nervous, they're getting nervous. Nope, they're, they don't like any of this. Nope, that one in the middle, man. right there. Well, they're, they're boogieing on, but they're getting higher. Them guys might take a long shot at them, though. I hope not. Let's see. I don't know. They're, they're still looking 
to the gun. Man, that middle one, he's a nice buck. That guy's still on his gun, but that's a long shot. how long that back tame, that tine is on that three point. That thing's a stud. Oh, I'd love to whack that son of a bitch. That's a nice buck. That is tall on that back. That's a three. shot. Well, there he is. That hunter got that guy. He got the widest buck, but the big giant three-point. I see him go clear up to the top in the pines. That was the biggest deer. The other three-point was heavy. This guy was wider. But he's just got some crabby claw, but he's a nice buck. And he's probably 25. But they're way down in the bottom. And they shot clear up there. They're, they got a long way to go to get up there and get that rascal. It'll be dark by then. seen I seen the two four points this morning this group of bucks right here nice bucks that's pretty darn good half mile from camp but like I said these guys so that's one deer I don't know how many tags they had hopefully just one or two because I only seen I think four people. And I know two of them are guides, so two tags that I don't know, we'll see, but man, one down for them right there. I gotta get back to glassing. Well I turned the giant three point back up. He's still in this basin. He's just up on top there. Nope, out of those three bucks, that, that heavy, tall, dark horn three point, and this big, 
tall, back, time, giant, three-point. Were the two big ones. The other one was just wider. He had got a crabbier claw. Forks, front and rear. This guy right here is a beautiful buck. Well, today's opening day. I got so much time still. I am going to look for that buck every single day and try to kill that buck right there. Seeing a buck like that keeps you warm. That's pretty exciting, though, seeing. And them guys didn't come in until late this afternoon, too. They dropped in this canyon. Oh, well. At least they didn't kill that buck right there. That's the one I want. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to probably have to start heading back towards camp. might even be wider than what I thought. Well, that's badass though. That guy probably paid five grand to come up here and get that deer. It's a good buck. He might be still has weak, weak forks, but still probably 26, 26, 27 wide. He's wider than I thought he was. That's badass, dude. I'm a buck. Look, he's into the selfie. Oh, nice. Nice. That's going to be me tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to find that giant three-point. Like I said, I got days. It don't look like it in this video, but it's getting dark quick. Alright, well, I'm gonna load up and head back to camp and eat something to eat. Well, that was pretty cool. That guy got him a nice buck, but the buck I would like to add, the bigger one to me, was he went up a little bit higher. And he calls this basin home. He'll be back. He'll be back. We've got days to look for him. And whew, it's, I'm getting cold though. But we got days, and we'll hopefully that buck comes back in this basin right here. And I'll put the whack on him. But well, see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. It's Sunday second morning of the Nevada deer hunt. That little four point right here. Last night was crazy. Spot those big old bucks up here in the in them pines and them other hunters got on them and they whacked one buck but a giant three point. They didn't get him. This guy right here, a little 
four point, a little twenty inch four point, maybe twenty two if I was lucky, but this morning I've seen this little four point. I've seen that three point with a kicker. I've seen the big two from yesterday. The little three point that's hanging out with him. And then back over here on this other box slide where the lead box were last night. Way up on top, I seen a heavy, heavy three point. I think it might have been the one with what those bucks that got shot at last night. Not sure, but it's all right. They'll settle down, and get back in this canyon. I gotta get. I want to see that giant three point again. But worst case scenario three or four days down the road here if I can't turn up that big three on another bigger buck. I mean, this four point right here and the three point with a the kicker, they're still a good mature deer. Fill the freezer and have me a hat rack and shit like that, but it's not a bad little deer. Well, let's, let's see what else we can pick up. Hey guys, I hiked down into the bottom of this basin. My camp is way at the top. Uh, last night, them bucks that I videoed came right out of right there. These guys shot from right down below me right here, and they killed that beautiful buck that I had that video on. Um, big, wide, nice three-point. I've seen that giant three-point. Um, the one I want. Well, I'm sitting there eating lunch. And I just look up and just looking at the birds flying by and just wishing like, wow, I wish I could have shot that big old buck. Well, I start glassing up there. Let me show you what I found. So, I'm down here eating lunch, wishing I could have killed a great big old buck. And I look up, and this is what I see. And it's just not birds eating guts. They left that whole deer up there. 27 inch, three point giant, beautiful buck. Hey guys, well look who showed up, it's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon, that deer set up baking in the sun all day long, and I just seen these guys ride up, four horses in, go over there and they're, they're working on it right now. They're not wasting it then, I guess. I mean, there's probably a lot on there that he is going to waste, but. Hey, guys. Man, this has been brutal. I think today's day five. No, today's day six. I haven't been doing much recording. I've been in that back country. Them guides. They came in and shot that big three point, and then they came in again, and they just. I glassed that basin for three days after them clowns got out of there. I still couldn't turn up a buck. So yesterday I decided to pull out of that high country, got back down to my Jeep. On the way down, those guides passed me with a big string of horses and they were on their way out and I seen the big three point right there. I could have touched the antlers and it was definitely a 28 inch three point. 
But they had four bucks total coming out of that back country, and they were all big, big, beautiful bucks. But it took me five hours to get out of there. I went 20 miles down the range. Now I've hiked into another big basin back here this morning, and I haven't seen any deer at all back in here, but I'm going to go. Still got four or five days. We'll give her hell and go try to find a buck. So let's go see what happens. Hey, guys. Man, today's Friday. I've been over in Nevada for eight days. And you've seen the videos and stuff up on top. I got pushed out by the guides and stomping that country down. They shot some really nice bucks back in there, though. Um, and then, you know, you get back down into a general hunting unit where the residents of Nevada are hunting. I've been all over the place, seen some small bucks. Um, wanted to shoot me a meat buck now at the end of the week here, and I found a little two-point last night. Man, I had him in the scope, and... I could have popped him, and I just thought, you know what? I love venison, but venison is saved for a, a, a bigger deer, I guess. I've, I've killed plenty of deer. Two-point is not, it's not it. Um, 76 degrees yesterday, all week long, super hot, full moon, everything working against me. But I had a wonderful time. I've seen some beautiful Nevada country. Unfortunately, these tags, I only get them every four to five years. Uh, but we'll be back. And next time, I'm probably going to get right back on that high country. Be a little bit more prepared. But it was an awesome trip. Now i got to get back to Utah. i got two weeks for to get ready for the rifle hunt over in Utah. So you win some, you lose some. But that's why we hunt. We love being out here in God's country and spending the time and relaxing and resetting and it'll all be good so stay tuned we'll see what happens over here in utah adios Take it while you got a chance if you got